I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. You a smart, you a real one. I even bring it to the spot. Think it's special what we got. Cause I've been through a lot. Blood out to the death. Cause you win and you're not. When I seen you pull a beam off the lot. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. So I just want to break down a couple things that we found out today. I want to talk to you guys about some things, you know what I mean? My man Showtime SP will be by later so we can really, really delve off into the content. And um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay in tune with all the latest content. So Ultimate Madness had their bye week, you know what I'm saying? The bye, well, it wasn't the bye week. Bye week was last week. This week was the real week where you had Young Cannon versus Shotgun Shug. You also had Franchise versus The Saga. Bill Collective versus Nun Nun. And then you had Danny Myers versus Home to the God. And I will break, I will talk about who I think won those battles in particular. You know what I'm saying? I'll just drop it all in here. And then when Showtime SP, you know, we'll we'll get deeper and deeper into the content. Um, there were some other battles that was announced. Uh B Dot versus T Top. That's gonna be fire. Uh Aver versus Calico. I kind of knew that was happening for quite some time now, so I'm not really too surprised. Them niggas been going to war like the North and the South for quite some time. If you have been sleeping under a rock. You know, you you what you should have known that. Um, let's start with uh, the biggest topic. Everybody knows that Briz Rothstein versus Murder Mook is not happening. I spoke on it earlier in the blog, but I'm a I'm a double back and say that we don't know what all the logistics are, and Briz Rothstein has not said why he's not doing it. So we should hold. You know, we gonna we gonna see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like the final verdict is not out, but Murder Mook. Is a battle that most people would take so I don't know you know what I'm saying hopefully everything is good with British and it is what it is um let's get into these battles so you had um Young Cannon versus Shotgun Shug I will say this about Shotgun Shug he definitely lost the nasty battle versus Jada Nightwing uh he did not look like his normal self you know and I'm not saying that in a in a in like Physically, I mean, he's losing weight. He definitely, you know, looks like he's doing his thing. But I'm saying as far as battle rap wise, he definitely was out of sorts. He was like stumbling all over the place. Uh, I think he choked in his third. It was just bad for him. So he wanted to spin the block real quick and battle again. That's what happens in a lot of these battles. When you see someone have a mundane performance or they lose or they don't do good, they want to spin the block real quick. Like the first call they make when they get out of the building. Yo, bees, I need another battle. Yo, I need to get back on. Yo, I need a, I need another one. I can't sit on that. <clears throat> I don't want to sit on that L, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes doubling back too quick might not be the best decision and who you battle means a lot like who you battle definitely means a lot when you're doubling back right quick spin the block per se so he battles young young cannon young cannon don't play with nobody now the thing about young cannon is why he you know what you're gonna get from him the consistency but that next level ability sometimes lacks that's why when he was in the tournament he went out versus bill real quick but he's definitely no slouch like i understand bill wanting to spin the block right quick but Young Cannon ain't no spin the block. I'm going to just get an easy win and get my rep back battle. That, that just ain't it. So he battles. And uh, in the first round, you see uh, Shook comes out, asks Tay Rock, you the reason I never joined Cave Gang. I got a cannon for a cannon and it's 4K. I like that. He got through his round and it was clean. His energy was up. He wasn't breathing crazy. He's running like 11 miles a day, driving his bike another 15 miles. And then he swims the rest of the way to the venue. So he's doing his thing as far as breathing and things like that. Cannon comes out his first round. Don't swole Jimmy New turn Jimmy Newsom to Jimmy Neutron. Uh, you better move like Snitch Nine or it's a home invasion. Uh, catch a nigga late night in the view. Jimmy Kimmel catch a nigga late night and shoot a nigga in the view. His breathing sounded crazy. He sounded like he was like, he sound, his breathing sound crazy. Uh, Ice Man with the finger roll had a George Gervin line. Shook starts in his second round. He starts going off. You'll catch one in the neck, Lil Risha. Uh, I put Young in front of the chop. Let's see if, if he say something that I don't like. Shotgun Shook had a pretty consistent second round. Young Cannon comes out in his second round. You and Cortez got the vets looking bad. Starts attacking him for and on um, Cortez for losing to rookies. Uh, your stock keep going up and down like Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin stock is crazy right now. But anyway, um, I was all behind the bill 
now I'm cutting his lights off and saying that he was I was I was a little behind on Bill now I'm cutting his lights off uh, stomach shot make your mid shift like 10 to 6 <whistles> big captain state trooper he had a whole set of bars like that shotgun shooks third round I would pocket check you but you ain't got nothing I want uh, he thought I was it was a jail pose but it was a headshot talking about you know niggas going down for the jail pose headshot bar uh, I had a Benz before me and smack became friends good bars uh, he said, uh, Young Cannon's third round, how you asking for niggas to get their life right when you just getting your shit together? How you asking niggas what they life like and you just getting your shit together? Uh, fuck your life, I'm here to take one. Uh, you brought war to wave because your name ain't had the same ripple effect. Like, you brought war to wave saying you battle Sue Surf. You brought war to wave because your name ain't had the same ripple effect. I thought that was fire. Uh, then he had the, one of the better rounds of the whole battle. Uh, should get whip. Should get hit, but the rider get hit first like Mike P, bitch. That was fire. I had Young Cannon 2-1 or 3-0 in this battle. Like, it's it's a debatable 30, but I got Young Cannon clearly winning this battle. Next was Saga vs. Franchise. I do have a, a individual recap for that battle, so I'm not going to go bar for bar for bar with that because I do have an individual recap on that channel. Those two guys did elevate, levitate. It takes... Education creates separation, and Saga had to get educated on the fact that just because you had won some battles, and just because you had did your thing, and just because you had the B dot joint, did not mean you was going to automatically win the tournament. Did not mean you was going to beat Holmesy the God. Did not mean you was going to win when you came back and battled again. And you got smoked. You know what I'm saying? You got smoked versus Mike P. You double back and got smoked versus Holmesy the God. And now you was in this one right here. And honestly, I said it. If you do not do good versus franchise. We shipping you to Canada. <laughs> we the North. You was going up North somewhere. Came out, had a phenomenal performance, and I really, really got a lot of admiration and appreciation for that boy Saga he put on. Um, so like I said, you wanna check that recap, make sure you check that on the channel. Um, bruh, next, what's next? Danny Myers versus Holmesy the God. Bro, they went to war. Uh, Danny Myers, he, he did everything that he could do but bars and approach sometimes the approach versus the bars like the bars is crazy danny himayas had bars in every single one of his rounds but Holmesy's approach and how he came at this battle he was rapping like twenty-five thousand was on the line this is the best battle in both tournaments this battle right here is the best battle in both tournaments i hope that y'all guys got it they got apps for that uh they was fucking Bucking. I see a lot of people with the um with the with the saying that Danny got robbed, Danny got robbed. I'm gonna be honest with you, with all four judges, the fan vote was 50-50, but it looked like on the app Danny was up a little bit. But 50 50 even if Danny would have won the fan vote, all the judges picked um Holmesy the guy. Holmesy the guy needs put some respect on Holmesy's name. Uh when we did the tournament, the, the media shit today, Jim's had picked um Holmesy. So I had Danny, and then he got Bill, and I had to pick none, none. So I, in, my, in my blog, I picked Bill to win because I knew Bill was going to win. But between us, when the conversation, the way the coin flip and all of that, uh, I had to pick him. So he made very good choices. But I picked Saga to win. But, uh, you know, James is my man. Salute to him. You know what I'm saying? It's no bad blood. Like, like that's my man. We was on the phone for almost an hour and a half, me, him, and P working the situation out to make sure that we had it the way it was supposed to be. But I love what he does. That's my brother. So anyway, um, you have Bill Collector versus None None Happen Next, but in a Danny versus Holmesy. I want to know what happened. So Danny says, just like Malcolm X, I'm not taking no little names. That was fire. Uh, Danny's first round spread Holmes over, all over his apartments. He got a God complex. I thought that was crazy. Uh, Holmesy first round, uh, the bar guy suits you. Cause you hold dominion over nothing else. That was fucking crazy. Stockton, you out here giving assist to everyone and no one ever cares if you score. That was fucking crazy. Talking about, cause he was talking about uh, Danny Myers battling against B Dye, battling against Geechee, giving assist to everybody else with their career, but nobody ever cares if you win or not. Uh, Danny comes out in his second round. 
the moment we put on masks, we knew you wouldn't identify with us. Uh, I'll turn your neck around. Let's see if you could turn your life around. Uh, the surgeons sound like flex. Everyone can't come up here. Then he said a line about his girl. She had me saying, oh shit, like smack after a dope battle. Fire. Uh, Holmesy second round. Uh, she says you button mash when you rap like Paul Rapper the Rapper saying that, you know, that all Danny Myers does is the same general bars. He's just button mashing, doing the same thing like when you give a three-year-old kid a uh, video game and they're just pressing the same button. There's no finesse, there's no approach, it's just all click, 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 click. Uh, and they said a fire round about I shoot him down, he heard of the nigga, he lays on the ground, his body's still twitching, the nerve of a nigga, he's wildin'. Uh, he said Amen Ra, he said that, so they can't say Egypt you God. Uh, he said I'll come to the west, hit him in his right, hit him in his side, drop him, we hitting switches, fire. Danny third, he had a line about the locks fade, uh, cut his head off and put it on the chain, that's how you floss the boss. Then he had an NCAA tournament line, the four is blazing, you made it to the final four, you're not supposed to be here, you George Mason, and they battled in Fairfax, Virginia, George Mason is from Fairfax, Virginia, George Mason made the final four in 2006, was not supposed to be there, fire line, Danny Myers did everything in his power that he could do to win the round, Holmesy comes out his third round, he's blacking. Uh, you'll get beat so bad they thought it was Cassidy. Uh, you, you keep saying you so cold, you so cold, hypothermia. That's the reason why you dying right now. Yo. Fire fucking battle. Fire battle. However you call this, how you call it, the refs gave it to, to Holmesy. It is what it is. Bill Collector. Bill Collector, Bill Collector. Salute to Bill Collector, Billiano the Dino, everybody's very good African Americano, the one that has turned his career around. Uh, this man has literally came from the depths, the bottom. Uh, he's seen everything in his career. Highlights, lowlights, losing friends, he lost his daughter. Uh, Bill Collector is the true comeback story. Like he really went from the bottom. Lost his friend LB the boss this year. I mean, He's a really feel-good story in battle rap. When you see somebody really change their whole life around, now Bill Collector's going to Summer Madness, like, he deserves it. He deserves everything that he's getting right now. And I just want to send that message out to Bill Collector. Salute to you and yours. His first round, he comes out, uh, I turn 16s to 32s, like, fuck the chorus. 250s leave you with a split decision like because the battle before had 50-50 uh, he, he started talking about how none none is a random rapper uh, how y'all gonna give me Larry Bird after Mike Dr. Conrad Murray I killed Mike with his own medicine <laughs> oh fuck Bill that was crazy uh, he said I beat YK I beat Mike and y'all gave me none for it he had a line, uh, you from Wilson, you should be used to niggas on the other side of your fence, Mr. Wilson line. Uh, none none comes out his first, uh, about to bury Bill with the dog like Frank Lucas. Then he had a line about, uh, Briz when I back out when I'm facing murder. Briz, I back out when I face, he did that rebuttal like, he, when you start rapping like that, he did that rebuttal in the middle of the round. Like he must have, he rebuttaled that shit so clean. It was kind of like he must have knew that that battle wasn't happening. When you start learning shit in the future like that. Uh, but he did it so smooth and so clean. He's got to get a lot of props for that. I loved Nun Nun's round. Um, so where we at? Where we at? Let's get it right. Let's get it right. So you had um, Bill collect the second round. And what I will say about Bill is that Bill just was cleaner and like he had he had what Bill had over none none was the fact that Bill does a lot of things good. None none punches great, but Bill does a lot of things good. A lot of things. And that's the thing, it's hard to beat him when somebody's doing a lot of things good and you got one super strength. Like he punches really well. You know what I'm saying? None none punches well. I'm not gonna hold you. He punches very good. But Bill got so many, he's like a chameleon. He can adjust, he can adapt. And um, he said, you, I'm getting the same Bill flips over and over. Smokey at the drive-thru, uh, put a ball head, but I'm at your crib, I'm at your, where you live. Put a ball head behind every trailer, like Beasley, like Beasley voice, because you know, ball head behind every trailer, like Beasley voice. He said, it's backwards. I put this calamine on red neck, but sun burn. I do it backwards, like I do it, Y'all not hearing this shit, man. Y'all not. Y'all. Y'all ain't even. Y'all ain't even. Y'all ain't even following. But anyway, uh, 
Shots run. He said shots run and we both got none. We broke even. Uh, none none comes out in his second round. Uh, well rounded like a Ritz. I ain't no regular cracker. I thought that was fire. Well, well rounded like Ritz. I ain't no regular cracker. Uh, who gave Billy Crystal? Uh, he had a none remainder round line. Bill Collector comes on his third. Uh, I could see Corey bitch. Is he not Topanga? I could see his Corey and his bitch. Is he not? I could see in his Corey bitch. I could see in his Corey bitch. Is he not Topanga? Uh, he said. Uh, he said I earned my stripes. I'm an oddball. Spent half my life in bull. You know them stripes, Bill Cart, right? <laughs> he said open the safe. If you don't know what I'm saying, then enunciate. <laughs> Bill was wilding on this man. Uh, let you get this close. You know I'm in the semifinal. Like I'll let you know my semi is final fire. Uh, breaking bad. See me cooking meth. You see me? I'm breaking bad. You see me cooking meth. None, none. Like I said, got further than many would have thought he would have got. But he, he. When it came down to the come down, um, method man. I mean that method man breaking bad bar was fucking crazy. Like let's just let's just be honest. Um, None comes out in his third round. I had a Hannibal Lecter bar uh, like Maserati Rick. Put your hood in the casket. I sat down and wrote for stacks like Jay Murder. He had a lot of good bars in his rounds or whatever the case may be. But overall, Bill Collector was just the better MC, the better battler, and he won. You know what I'm saying? Um, Bill Collector. I, all the judges picked Bill Collector as a winner. Um, he's going on to face Holmesy the God. That's going to be a fire battle. You got a top angler in Holmesy. Uh, a lot of hunger there. Holmesy the God is on Summer Madness. I think that's crazy. He deserves to be there. Uh, Bill Collector's on Summer Madness. He deserves to be there. Uh, the best part about it is I don't have to worry about like racking my brains. I could just make a prediction and sit on it and be cool because Jims, that's what you got it. You won. So congratulations and you can bust your brain trying to figure out who you think is going to win. I could just make a prediction and be wrong, and it's all good. Uh, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Love every single one of y'all, man. Peace, and everything is good. See y'all later with my guy, Showtime SP. Gang, gang, to the gang, gang. This really who we are. Shit ain't no facade. I really had drives since before I had a car. Ugly little niggas, but you know we had the bras. Show me groupie love, baby, I'm a superstar. This life a movie, baby, and I'm giving you a pop. Show me where you hit at, like I knew that you were smart. You a real one, I even bring it to the spot. Think especially what we got, cause I've been through a lot. Blood out to the death, cause you win and you're not. When I seen you pull a BM off the lot, then I told myself all the BS gotta stop. I'm the young nigga from the city out to get it. Breast shoulders with the real, I swear, Lord, it's my witness. Even hit the baddest women one life, gotta live it. I ain't good, I'm terrific. The flow is too prolific. Yeah, I hear him talk, but they ain't too specific. Cause they know I'm gifted. Fuck the game, I'm like I'm glitching.